scene management today we're gonna talk about the scene management nodes and I'm gonna show you how to use the load scene node unload scene node and maybe activate loaded scenes if needed and I'm also, I'm also gonna show you how you can uh, split your UI into different scenes and load them and unload them as needed it's not very hard but uh, you will see a different way of uh, structuring your UI and how you can use these nodes. Basically, we're, we're going to load and unload scenes without writing code. It's going to be a good one, but a long one. Let's get started. Okay, so how do we start? Well, first I'm going to talk about scene loading. Scene loading in Unity is a two step process. First, the scene loads in memory from 0 to 90%. Uh, actually, this is the, 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 the process. It's 90% is scene loading and 10% is the scene activation. So when you load the scene, the first step is, uh, is to, to load into the, into the memory. And then for the activation part, it calls awake, start on enable and so on on your game objects. So this is how everything works. Basically, you can load into memory 10 scenes, for example, for a huge game, you, made, you might have a level that has a lot of other scenes and you can acti activate them uh, all at once for depending on how you structure your uh, UI and your game and so on. All right, so first let's create a folder and say demo and what do I need here? Well, I'm going to create a simple flow graph, uh, demo, demo graph. All right. And let's play with this a bit. So we're going to create a, um, a simple menu. Let's say main menu, a settings menu and a, um, user profile. Yeah. Let's go like that. So I'm gonna make the UI structure here right now. This this will be the UI flow. And after that, we're gonna make some simple, simple views because all I wanna show you is how to load and unload and not how to create the UI. This is a, we already made a video for this, for the UI flows, all right? So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna create a UI node and this will be our main menu, main menu. Uh, I'm even going to use portals for this. So you're going to see, uh, let's also create a portal node that will jump here whenever we are. So let's move it like that and let's create a, uh, where's my portal? Let's create a signal stream and this will be my let's say my UI stream main menu. All right. So this is how this should work. All right. And whenever we send the main menu signal, it will jump here. All right. Now we need some view names because I want to show the, do I have here the option? No. So tools, doozy, UI manager, views database. Let's say demo. And we say, we're gonna say main menu. Uh, what did I say? Settings, settings, and user profile. For example, it can be anything. All right, uh, I also need some buttons. So, yeah, let's come here, UI button, say demo. So a button to get me from the main menu to the settings menu. So settings button. Uh, I also want a user profile button. And I also want a main menu button. Main menu. All right. So I have my free buttons right here. All right, 
So for my main menu, right here, I'm gonna say, when you click the settings menu, you should go to another UI node. Actually, I forgot to say, when I'm entering this node, I want to show the main menu. And when I'm leaving it, I want to hide the main menu. Easy. Now, when I click the demo settings button, just come here and say settings menu. And when I enter this node, I want to show the settings view. When I leave it, I want to hide the settings view. All right. And then I want another UI button that is called main menu. And here I'm going to say uh, signal node. And I want to send a signal UI main menu. Basically, how, this, how does this work? So when I'm here, I'm in the settings menu and I'm clicking the main menu button, it will go into this node, send the signal on the UI um, on the UI main menu stream, and this portal will capture it and jump here. So this is how it works. And now I need one more. And here I'm gonna say UI button demo user profile. I'm gonna create another UI node. I'm gonna oh, what am I dragging? And this will be my uh what did i say here ui button again i'm gonna leave this when i click the main menu and use the same signal and here when i enter this node this is the user profile menu i would like to see a user profile and when i leave it i would like to hide the user profile so this is it for my, my logic. It's quite simple. Uh, and we, we're gonna split it into different scenes in a second. First, we need to create our UI so we can see it. All right, so I'm gonna save this and let's come here and let's add, let me move my head. Let's add the flow controller just so we know we already have it. And here I'm gonna connect my demo graph. All right, that's it. I don't want to see this for now. Now let's start playing uh, here. So I'm going to create a uh, simple canvas. I'm going to update the event system to work with the new input system. Where's my canvas? I think we need to change the resolution. Yeah, perfect. Uh, I'm going to leave it to overlay. I don't care right now. And I want to say scale with size 1920 by 1080. So full HD. Let's configure it. All right. So this is my setup. I'm going to save this scene and I'm going to say this is my uh, scene main menu. All right. Perfect. So now I need a UI view. Let's just create a uh, image. Actually, this will be my background. I want a, a global background for this. Uh, just make it like so. This will be my background, my UI background. Let's make it dark, 20, 20, 20, all right. So now I have a background. Uh, let me get some tools to work a bit faster. So I need an alignment tool and a size tool. Yeah, this should be perfect for this. All right. So I'm gonna create my first UI view. Um, let's make a, uh, so containers UI view. Let's make it, let's add a background for it. So UI image, this will be my, my view background basically. Uh, let's set a color. Let's say, let's say this one. Yeah, it's nice enough. Maybe darker. Perfect. And let's make it as big as it's, uh, as its parent. And now let's make it bigger. 
so i want to increase the size to yeah something like that maybe even bigger 512 yeah let's also make it a bit bigger on the x yeah uh, something like that yeah all right so this is my main menu all right let's also add a text so i i know this is my main menu so text mesh pro let's align it uh on the outside yeah right there let's make it as big as it's parent and it should go outside all right and let's just center it and this will be my title let's not make this okay and this is main menu i don't like the color of this to be honest uh yeah darker perfect all right this ui view doesn't have a show and a hide right so we need a ui container ui animator so hide show perfect all right and this is our main menu let's rename it and now we need two buttons one to go to settings and one to go to our user profile so i'm just gonna add what do i want to add well i want to add a layout so i'm gonna put them on the vertically yeah vertical layout so middle center do not expand anything give me a 32 spacing and a content size fitter set to preferred and preferred perfect this is fantastic now so this will be my buttons and let's add our first button ui menu components let's add a simple button and actually two one more uh three no just two all right so now uh is the spacing all right yeah it's it's cool so now my simple button will be the first one will be go to the settings menu and let's also rename it to settings and let's change the color to 20 20 20 all right and the other one will go to my uh, user profile user profile again i want the same color as this one uh, can i color pick it yes perfect and this will be my demo user profile let's rename it the sizes are a bit off so let's make the x a bit wider uh, yeah something like that and maybe a bit slimmer hmm. yeah on the x as well yeah 160 by 48 yeah it's okay and maybe let's say 24. all right i'm happy so this is my main menu uh custom start position and instant hide perfect what else do i need so i'm just gonna move it here i'm gonna duplicate did i duplicate so let's duplicate it and this will be my settings menu let's rename the game object let's go and change the title and say settings I'm going to change the background hue just so I can identify it. And here I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to leave only one button and this will be my main menu button. Let's rename the game object and let's write here main menu. Perfect. So this is my settings. Let's create one more. And this will be our user profile. All right, title let's say user profile again let's change the hue a bit let's go with something like that god these are awful colors again the same the same button 
So right now I have my logic, I have my views. So let's enter play mode and let's see how this works. Uh, I'm also want to see the graph. So I'm going to connect it right here just so you can see it. All right. Can you see the graph? Yes. Mm -hmm. Enter play mode and we're going to see the main menu right away. Let me just go like that. So I can go to the settings menu and then go to the main menu, user profile, main menu. So now I have my flow, right? So how does this work? In case you are wondering, I'm going to explain again. So when I'm clicking the settings button, this one, so this button, it's going into this node and of course showing me my settings. I'm going to click it. And here, when I click the main menu button, it will go to a signal node. It will emit a signal on uh, this stream on the, with the category UI and the name main menu. And right away, this portal node that listens for this particular signal will capture uh, the signal and go back to the main menu. So this is how this works. We're not using the back button for this particular example. All right. Okay. So now how can I move my settings menu, for example, in a different scene? The logic can stay here. You do not have to separate it. You can do that as well, but that's a bit more complex. Um, but I want my view and everything that comes with it to load uh, from a different scene. And how can I do that? Well, let me show you. First, let's split our UI. Let's save this scene. And I'm going to create a, a new scene. So an empty scene, of course. And here I want to create a uh, canvas. Where's my canvas? Right here. Without an event system, I know I do not need it. And I'm going to look at the sorting order. Let me bring my uh, demo scene. Where is it? Scene main menu. There you go. So my initial uh, canvas, my root canvas, has the sort order of zero. So think of it zero. Now, this is you, you are the camera, so you're, you're, you're viewing as the camera. And when I say one, it's going to draw like that. Two, three, four, and back. So in my new scene, in my untitled scene, let's also save as, and save as, let's say, scene settings menu. Right. Uh, I'm just adding the name scene so you can understand what is happening. You can set it to any name. So in my canvas, I'm going to set the sorting order to one. All right. So basically, whatever I have loaded in my main scene, in my initial canvas, it's on the le on level zero. And when I'm loading another scene, it's going to sort it on top of it. Right. We're going to see in a second. And I want to move my settings from here to here. I'm just going to move it. All right. So right now, this is in, in, a, in a different scene. I'm going to save scene. I'm going to save this as well. And I'm going to unload this scene. All right. And actually remove scene. And now I'm going to create a new scene. And again, I'm going to create a uh, canvas. I do not need an event system, nor do I need a camera, by the way, because I already have one loaded in my uh, settings main menu, uh, in my scene main menu, in my initial scene, right? And again, I'm going to say sort order one, because uh, the settings menu and the profile menu will never be in the same scene. They should not, uh, actually, they won't be visible in the same scene. All right. Again, I'm going to move this here and drag and drop my user profile into this other scene, right? Again, I'm going to save as, and I'm going to say scene um, user profile menu. Yeah. Again, let's save the scene, save the scene and remove. Now, this scene is empty only, it, it only has the main menu, the UI view. 
so this one of course the logic will work so if i enter here and i say go to the settings it will jump to the node but it has nothing to show and i can no longer i do not have a main menu button to to go back or to do anything so i need to load my scene and let's go to our graph Let's put our settings here. Let's create a node. Let's say load scene node. And I'm gonna connect this here. So basically I'm loading a scene. And after that, I'm going to my settings menu, right? So what scene do I wanna load? I, I, you can either get the scene by name or by build index. Where do I get the name from? Where do I get the build in the index from? So these are, questions that you might ask yourself if you're new of course otherwise you know how to do that so this is the scene name scene settings menu right and in order to be able to load the scene you need to add it to your uh, build so file build settings and here you can see scenes in build so i'm gonna drag and drop this here and of course this one here as well and this is the name of the scene so when you when you say get scene by name use this string or this number zero and one th th this is the the scene build index right so if you remember here we have get scene by name or by build index i'm gonna, just going to use the name or the build index let's go with the build index, build in the index because it's faster but if you uh, reorder them well it won't be that fast you're gonna have some errors uh, actually let's go with the name so i'm gonna say uh, scene settings menu all right so i know what scene i want to load how do i want to load it so this is the load scene mode if I say single, it go, it's, it's going to unload my uh, main menu and I don't want to do that. I want to say additive because I'm adding it alongside my main scene. Wait for scene to load? Yes. Allow scene activation? Yes. Scene activation delay? Uh, zero to, yeah, I'm going to leave just like that. It can be set to zero or five or whatever. And when I'm leaving this node, so when I'm leaving the settings menu, I would like to unload this scene. I'm just going to copy this so I don't have to write it again. Create node. Unload scene. And after that, I'm going to send my signal. All right. So I'm going to say unload settings menu. All right. So this is my scene. Let's do the same for this, for the user profile menu. So again, load scene, scene user profile menu. Again, load scene mode additive. So I'm gonna connect it like so, there you go. And you can also see the information here. So whatever you're loading, All right? I just loaded it. And now I want to unload when I'm leaving. So say unload scene. And again, I'm going to call in this here and this here. And here scene name. Uh, I have the bad scene name. So scene user profile menu all right so this is my graph now all right do you have a null for what unity self not a fancy unity error all right let's enter play mode and let's see how this works so as you can see right now i have two things loaded i have my main menu and everything that it said not to destroy uh, on, on scene uh, change. So don't, don't destroy on load. And here we have several things, the back button and the animation um, ticker. So when I click settings, it's going to load the scene, scene uh, settings menu. 
and of course it's gonna show my uh what was here demo settings view so load it and there you go and as you can see we have here our settings menu it's right over here you will see that when we, we're gonna leave this uh this view it's gonna unload so the scene will disappear from here that's how it works so main menu let's go to the game view main menu it unloaded that scene and this is how you can split your ui and load it dynamically as you need need, need to to do it and right now i also want to show you how to add a progress bar so let's say a loading screen so you can see how this works All right so we're gonna uh, we're gonna go a step even third further and show you how you can create a loading screen so between your uh, uh, wait times all right so i'm gonna uh, use i'm gonna create one in my main menu and i'm gonna create a new canvas so a new uh, canvas that i want to be on top of everything in order to do that remember when i told you about the sorting order i'm gonna say here let's say 100 so whatever happens uh i'm gonna th this is gonna be on top of, of everything and this will be my um cam loader loader canvas just so i know what this is all right so if i bring my main menu let's say uh set position here and here i'm gonna add a um another ui menu <clears throat> another ui view sorry so i'm gonna create an image that's gonna be on top of everything let me show you the order so if i say minus one it's behind this if i say zero it's again behind this if i say one it's on top of it but, but i'm gonna say 100 so it's on top of everything and i'm also gonna say uh I'm going to add some transparency just so you can see what is happening. All right. So this will be our, I don't like that it's an image. So UI uh, containers, UI view, and this will be my loader screen. For example, this will be my background. Let's move it over here. Uh, let's make this as big as possible. I'm going to make it red so you can see that it's loading something. Something is happening. Uh, let me just make it. Actually, this red is a bit crazy. Let's go like that. And less transparency. Yeah, turn to something like that. All right. And now I'd like a loading bar and a percentage. So... I'm gonna create a loading bar UI image uh, loading bar loading uh, loading bar let's put it down here yeah something like that uh, height 32 32 32 32 maybe 64 maybe 16 yeah that's okay now we need a sprite so i'm gonna go with a um, square square let's say this and let's make it dark let's say 20 20 20 and the transparency something like that and now we need something to load this with so i'm gonna duplicate this and say fill uh, let's make the fill red I don't know yellow something like that yeah whatever uh, and let's change this to field we're gonna add some um, some presets for us some in, in the UI menu we, we're gonna add some bars already made because this is taking a bit too long uh, horizontal all right so this is how I want this bar to load and now I need the progressor, of course. So, progressor. 
and this progressor needs a name and a category and I'm gonna say loaders and this will be my main loader for example and loaders main loader all right so what do I want here so from 0 to 1 I need a target so here an image image progress target fill from the value and here let's add our targets yeah we really need to create one so how does this look so this is how it loads perfect and yeah that's pretty much it i'm okay with this uh, and i also want to show the the percentage so let's also show that so ui text mesh pro and yeah, let's put it right here actually let's attach it to the loading bar and let's align it on the right side mm, left side mm. no nah, in the center nothing like that on the outside um, yeah i'm gonna leave it like that so this would be my um progress text actually let's just say text it doesn't matter and let's let's just center this and let's add a progress target text mesh pro and this is value use multiplier yeah perfect and let's not write anything here and let's go to our loading bar and add our yeah there you go let's say play perfect yeah that's that's very good all right and now my loading screen needs a i would like to add here demo loading loading screen just just so i can show and hide so this will be a loading screen and i would like a fade in and fade out animation so ui container all right and instead of a move i would like a fade in from zero and a fade out uh, remove the move fade out to zero all right so let's see hide show perfect hide show i'm happy all right so now this should be instant hide so let's just move it out of the way so this is our loading screen all right so now how can i show this well let me come here here and say nodi whenever i want to load something i need to also uh when i leave the main menu i know that I, i'm gonna be loading um something so i say when you exit the main menu please show me the loading screen and when i enter the settings menu i want to hide the settings screen the loading screen so sorry and for the user profile the same thing when i enter it i want to hide all right that's pretty much it now we need to connect our progressor so connect progressor loaders main loader and i'm going to do the same thing here and now we can let's say i know this is a long video but i don't know how to make it shorter so settings and this moves very fast user profile uh i think i forgot to hide it and, oh yeah i put this on exit node so my bad let's just remove this so when you enter yeah uh, demo yeah my mistake let's just hide this main menu so now user profile main menu settings main menu. 
Of course, if the scene were bigger, you would be able to see it. <laughs> but since it's not, uh, I can also add, hmm, I think we can we can change the loading screen to have a delay uh, once it's uh, it's visible, just so it's an, uh, um, a better experience for the user. So let's say uh, when we hide, let's add a delay, let's say 4.5 seconds, right? So let's show settings. Yeah, it's still too fast. It's, it's very fast. Uh, can I delay it from here? It's in activation. One second. Settings. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So this is how we can make it visible for very small scenes. If you want to do that, I'm going to remove this uh, height delay. All right. And I'm just going to say here again, scene activation one. So yeah, that's pretty much it and how this works. So you have your main menu, you load something, and that's how it works. And of course you can customize to whatever settings you want. Whew. Uh, as, for the, as for the scene uh, activation, so you can say, do not allow scene activation here. And if I don't do that, well, it, it's, it's, it's gonna get stuck. So let's go here. Like I said, it's gonna only go through the first process settings. And now it's it's stuck. As you can see, scene settings, can you see that? Yeah. So see uh, scene settings menu is loading. Well, it will never finish loading because you didn't activate it. And that's the issue here. So although it it went uh, it went to the other node because it hasn't been activated. It's loaded in, in the memory, but you cannot see it. Can I activate it from here? Nope, can't do that. So this is where the other node comes in. So create node, not this one, this one. Activate loaded scenes. So you should do it like so. Let me, come on. All right, so, but of course you need this if you are loading several scenes at once. So let's say your scene is made up of other scenes and you wanna, you, you, you may wanna load all of them at once and then activate them. Yeah, so right now, now it will work, of course. But usually you're gonna use it like this and you're gonna click allow scene activation. That's the, the normal way of doing it. So. Let's enter play mode. So settings. It didn't appear. Oh, you you need this to to allow scene activation. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. So let's also show this. Main menu. Settings. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So that's how this node, uh, these nodes work and how you, you should use them. And uh, yeah, just so how easy it is to also add a loading screen and so on and how to connect to it. All right, uh, one more thing. When a scene is loaded, basically it uses a scene loader. So uh, this load scene node, creates a, uh, let's create here, game object, a, a scene loader. And this is the component that does the magic to, to load your scene, basically. The node only creates it, loads it, and destroys it. And it happens very fast. So let me see if you, if you can see it. So settings, there you go, scene loader, it appeared. Let's also increase the, the wait time for this, let's say five seconds. So settings, and this is the scene loader that actually did the work and it's gonna get destroyed automatically. So it's not that black magic. This is how it works. All right, so yeah. 
remember to like and subscribe if you like this and this is how this basically works load scene unload scene of course uh, if you do not want to use um, the signal node and the portal node i can delete this i can delete this i'm gonna create a pivot node uh, just so i can connect this like so another pivot node so we're using a um, let's connect this here come on so if you want to see the connection uh, you can do it like that and just say pivot node come on connect it here just rotate so this is another way of going back to the main menu with a direct connection if you do not want to use uh, portals and would like to see it work like that it also works so let's enter play mode and let's say settings and main menu again it's gonna work it's the same thing just that it doesn't use uh, signals to do it to, to connect right again profile and main menu all right that's pretty much it for this video uh, i know it, it was a long one and i hope that uh, you learn how to split your ui how to load and unload scenes uh, how to connect a uh, progressor and show the percentage and create something nice with your uh, with your designs and yeah i cannot wait to see what you're going to create with uh, with this uh, this system thank you very much and i'm going to see you in the next video bye bye